iconic handbags. Bags that it doesn't matter what year it is, they're always gonna look good on you. I'm gonna share with you six of what I think are the best bags that have been around long enough now to stand the test of time. Number one, Hermes. Whether it's the Birkin or the Kelly, personally, I actually prefer the Kelly. Well, actually, if I were to rewind, I don't actually like Hermes, but they are the best bag when it comes to future value. They just keep going up, but also they're the best bag when it comes to something quite classic that you can always use. They've been, the, the Kelly and the Birkin have been around for absolute generations, and they're that sort of thing that if you buy it, if you can get your hands on it, you can just know that not only have you got something that the value is gonna keep going up, particularly based on the colour, the material you get it in, and also how well you look after it. But they look like pretty practical bags to me. The second is the Gucci Disco Bag. Why do I think this? Okay, this bag has been around for quite a while now. The way that I generally tend to think about long-term bags, I, I will look at a brand, I'll look at a, a certain style they do, and I will look to see how long that style stays around for. Sometimes with brands, you they'll come up with a design and you'll think that's really nice and then they'll only keep it going for one or two seasons, which means that you can end up in a place where what you've got looks quite dated. And I'm not talking about for those of us who don't mind that something's dated just because you love it, but I think for a lot of us, particularly with social media, I don't know. I've got bags that are quite dated now and I don't really like carrying them because they're kind of like, I think that style style definitely changes and moves on and bags that I bought back in sort of like 2010 or 2009 they look very early 2000s and they don't they don't fit with today's styles and themes and designs also you know clothing fashions changed since then everything's not as flash and crystallized and furry and like leopard print and whatever else you can throw on it and so th there's a slight clash in terms of things working with different outfits. The Gucci Disco though has been around for such a long time and I feel like it's definitely got that iconic bag feel versus a lot of their other bags actually, even the Dionysus, which whilst it's been around since what, 2016? 2016 I think? I just feel with that bag there's too much going on with it. It's quite fussy, it's, some of them can be quite loud. Whereas the classic Gucci Disco bag is just plain, it's simple. It's been around a long time. I just feel like that's a safe one. Again, this isn't a bag that I particularly love and none of the bags here that I'm talking about are uh, necessarily, there are a few, they aren't bags that I would rush and go out to buy, but they are bags that I really believe that if you're into those brands or if you're into those styles, they're worth getting because you're not gonna be left with something that looks dated in no time at all. The Antigona has been out for quite a considerable amount of time. The actual shape of it, the bowling bag kind of shape of it, is pretty classic. I also like the simplicity of those bags. They do have the logo on it, but it's quite small. It's kind of quite tasteful. And also the bags have changed in terms of, I think at one point you could only get the really big one, and now they do more mini size ones. The good thing with this bag and with the Gucci disco bag is they're not like Chanel stupid money, like three or four thousand pounds. They are a bit more realistic, but you still get the quality and you still get that designer brand. Lady Dior, I'm sure you are all sick of me talking about the Lady Dior, but it is one bag that is just a safe bet to get. It's been around since the 90s, it's not going anywhere. You've only got to go and look at pre-loved or consignment stores. You can find Lady Dior bags that have that are really pretty old but they still, they still look current because the design hasn't really changed. If you're looking to get a Lady Dior, you might choose to go and buy it uh, new, but also it's definitely one of those bags that is worth having a look at when it comes to pre-loved because I find that although the Lady Dior is very classic, they don't tend to hold their money. They always, from my experience, they've always sold a little bit under what I've paid for them even though the prices rise, but the prices on Dior seem to rise a lot slower than they do on somewhere like Chanel, where they just get crazy each year. So if you are thinking about it, definitely have a look. I mean, I bought a Dior bag earlier this year. It was the Dior flat bag with Jadior written on it. 
I got that brand new. Someone had bought it a few months before. It came in its box with its original receipt. That was a 2,300 bag and I got it for 1,700 pounds. I was high-fiving myself when it turned up. So definitely go and check out. Like, I really like Vestair Collective is where I have experienced shopping. Right, we're gonna move on to Louis Vuitton. There are actually two that I wanna mention here. One is the Neverfull and one is the Speedy. Starting with the Neverfull, personally, I actually don't like this bag and I've got it. I can't stand it. It's really impractical. It falls open whenever you put it on the floor. It's bad in terms of security. And it just, particularly when you use it a lot and the canvas supples up, it gets really shabby looking. It just, it doesn't hold its shape. It looks really scruffy. However, the, the Neverfull and the Speedy are really popular bags, particularly for those who might be buying their first time bag. They're both under the thousand pounds mark which makes them quite a bit more accessible, but also they're iconic for the reason that they've both been around for a considerable amount of time. So you just know, whether you like those bags or not, you just know if you are into them, you're kind of gonna be safe with them for a while. I do feel like the LV print has kind of had its day. I mean, I'm sure there are people that are gonna be like, are you crazy? But I really feel like it's kind of, it looks quite dated now. And also I think the fake market has killed it a bit for that print. Two definite iconics there. And then the final one, which I've got to mention, it's, it's the icon of the century. It is the Chanel classic flap. I know a lot of you were like, oh my God, I don't talk about that bag, blah, blah, blah. But it's so iconic. If you want to buy just one designer bag in your life, Get a Chanel classic flap, just get it in black. Don't get it in lambskin because it'll scratch like an absolute mother. Get it in caviar and it will be a lot more robust. It just works with any outfit. I actually think in hindsight, I wouldn't have got the jumbo because it's a bit too big. I'd have got the medium because then it looks quite neat when you wear it over, a, over like an outfit. It's still practical, you can still get stuff in it. But honestly, it's an iconic bag. It also just keeps going up in value. You know, you buy that now, you're still gonna be using that in the future. These are the top icons in my opinion. Let me know what you think, if there's anything that you really disagree with, anything you think I've missed out. Please leave your comments below, all opinions welcome. Please leave those below, let's have a talk about it. I will see you in the comments.